Hello, welcome to Martian Badger Customs. And today we're going to be looking at this display this, seeing if we can recreate it, make it just a little bit better. <laughs> Many moons ago, back in the early 2000s, companies like NECA and McFarlane Toys used to package tiny little display bases with their action figures. Same figures or more like statuettes, but I always enjoyed them because I never had much much in the way of shelf space for you know larger scale dioramas, not that I knew how to build them. Um, but I always thought that they bring my toys to life just a little bit more. The display base we're going to be looking at today, it's this one, was packaged with the Terminatrix from McFarlane's Terminator 3 line. So let's just dive in and have a bit of a close look, shall we? As we've seen, you know, there is some mud trapped about here and there in the uh, cemetery scene, but the bit where the Terminatrix um, goes through the rubble, goes through the headstone, it's quite a large headstone, um, it's quite lush. Lush green grass, um, and I know this is grass because uh, the lost line that McFarlane did, they use the same textures for the uh, Hurley, with the Hurley's um, golf course. So I know that's grass, but there wasn't, there wasn't much mud by the rubble. So let's uh, see if we can do this a bit better then. The base is a nice, nice round shape. Got a lot of colour to it. There's some green and some brown, which indicates mud. I've got these little uh, stony bits here. My guess is that they were trying to recreate um, a section from the cemetery scene after she goes through the um, headstone. Um, but let's just have a look at that scene and we'll go from there, shall we? I'm going to start out with some XPS foam. This is um, five mil size. I'm going to put that on top and simply, on my hand, just trace along the base. It's easy as that. Da, 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 da. That gives us this, this circle. Next step is putting it out. Now, I'm not big on cutting circles, but uh, let's give it a go, shall we? Some straight lines in there. Nearly done. Okay, there's a circle. And now what I'm going to do, put that in place, is I'm going to take an emery board, which women like to use to file the nails with, and just This side here, get more of that circular shape. Yeah, it's looking pretty okay for me. There we go. Next up, um, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not going to recreate. I'm not going to actually recreate this thing. But next up, I'm going to. Just put in a slight bit of texture. Now, my handy aluminium ball with my tin foil. I'm going to put some texture in. And this is just because I'm actually going to flock the piece. And if you look closely, it just gives the ground a bit more of a more natural effect. Okay, so that's that done. 
melon next up we've got these rocks so these all different shapes and sizes and we've got a slight bit of dry brushing on there you can see these marks here that definitely indicates to me that that was part of a um the grave stone headstone so what i do is just going to cut some nice little stony shapes out okay so now we have our rocks ready to place onto our base it's time to get the glue in now what i'm going to be using is a hot glue gun and might be that no what actually that and then with my base coating with the black magic craft mix which i always use which is simply a mod pod and washing spray paint mixed together okay let's just wait for this glue gun to heat up the glue gun is ready so let's get started shall we so just a bit on there and let's uh just pull this up there off about there now this one Piece here, I think. This one's stuck to that there, right? That works for me. So, let's just get a little. And there. Looks good. And then. going a bit of rubble there and get some next to it roughly about there this little piece here and stuck on top there Piece of rubble. I need a smidge and we oop, there, like that. And I've got this bit here. Yeah, that looks good to me. Stick it in the back there, just like that. Should hold in place. That's all in place and doing fine. Our next step is to base coat, which is easy enough, as I've said. Black Magic Craft mix, so you're in Mod Pod and your black paint. Mix it. We've got the tops to do here. Mm. Put your wispy bits of glue, hate them. Anyway. <coughs> So the downside to is not lower those wispy bits. It's a darker bit there. It's all covered. This will also help the little bits here, which uh, didn't get too much glue on them because of the size. It will help them stick to the model. A lot easier with this coat, so it's all good. There we go. Nearly done. Yeah, whenever you're doing this, always use a sheet of like baking paper and non-stick, uh, non-stick paper, greaseproof paper. Otherwise, your piece is just always going to stick to whatever you've got it on. Especially because obviously I've got the bottom here. But with non-stick, it just comes straight off and not an issue. Right. So that's all done and coated. There we go. Wait for it to dry and then we can get on with the next bit. Okay, now that's dry. We are going to 
start doing some painting. So first, get your paints. I'm using here this deco art slate. So that's it a little bit there. And what I'm going to do, wake up brush, easiest thing in the world to use. Get some paint on my paintbrush. <laughs> and then a bit of tissue paper and get away with some of the excess. Now then, what I'm going to do here is just paint that on the rock. Try and leave the ground behind if we can. Okay. Get as much on it on the stone as possible. It's going to get on the ground though, but don't worry about that. We're going to cover that in a bit. Okay. So following that, I'm going to get some storm cloud grey. So still only need just a little bit, even maybe even less than before. Okay. Put it on your brush. Nice and simple. Then push some of that off. You don't need a lot. You're painting now, then, this is where the magic's going to start happening. So I'm going to just nicely just put it all on the stone there. Just like so. Right. Yeah, you know, for excess, what we can, but we don't want that on there. And third and final, I'm going to use some Amish Grey to finish this off. With that bit of a check. There we go. And we only need a very tiny little bit now. Let's get that on there. As before, get off your excess. I'm gonna need like pretty much all of this gone now. Don't need much. Just get all that off there. Then, very lightly, I'm going to go over the top of the stone and small. Right, so that dump. Next up, we're going to get some brown. Brown. And this is. Hopefully. Just a standard brown colour. I don't know, I think. So the next up, we've got brown, and this is just nice standard brown colour. Straight out of pot, pretty much. Paint the ground here. Just want full coverage. Yep. Okay, so now that is fully browned. A bit more highlights on these stones here. Let's see the side. And once again, just let that dry. Okay, so now that that's dry, I'm going to go for the final layering now. So to start with, I'm just going to get some normal Mod Podge and slap it on there. Don't worry about this if you try this yourself. This will dry clear. Okay. Like I said, it will dry clear. So, not a big whoopsie. I'm going to get it all in there. There's little cracks and crevices. Just like so. And 
full coverage of this brown base, basically. So, and just add a little lot. So while I'm doing this, let's just skip ahead. Okay, so we we'll skipped on and our base is now mod punched. So final section is flock. So what I'm going to do, because obviously the original one has mod, I'm not using mod on mine, but I'm going to get a couple of clumps of this yellow grass here, just for a bit of coloration. Like that. Sprinkle it on there. And then I'm going to go for standard green flock. Now, what I'm going to do, we'll make some modellers absolutely cry. I don't care. I'll we'll sprinkle it all on there. It's all right. I don't bother with things like um, applicators. Sprinkle it all on. And all this done. <laughs> and the excess that comes off of this anyway ends up going back in the bag. So, sprinkle all that on there. That looks good to me. And then, Pat it down, make sure we get a lot of full grass coverage there, like that. So it's all patted down, but it needs to be. And then, take it and turn it. There we go. Doesn't look like much now, but give it a couple of hours when it's dry and it'll look absolutely fantastic. So let's do that and I'll see you in a bit. 